Hi kids, I'm Motorman Knight. Welcome to Streetcar School. Our lesson today is alternating and direct current. In our last lesson, we saw how the controller works. You'll remember that the big handle regulates how fast the streetcar motors run. The small handle is called the reverser. The position of the reverser determines whether the car goes forward or backward. How does it do that? Well, to understand, we first need to take a look at the nature of electricity. More than 250 years ago, Benjamin Franklin flew a kite as an electrical storm approached. He theorized that lightning was a dramatic example of static electricity. He was right. Static electricity is a stationary electric charge. Everything in the universe is made of atoms. Atoms have a central nucleus consisting of neutrons and protons. Circling the nucleus, like planets around the sun, are electrons. Electrons carry a negative charge, which balance the positively charged protons. Under certain conditions, an electron can be stripped from an atom. As these free electrons build up, they create a charge imbalance. The electrons will look for a pathway to discharge. Static electricity can be annoying, even dangerous but it can also be useful. For example, printers and copiers use static charges to direct ink to paper, but static electricity isn't a useful power source. Our cities, homes, and devices are powered by electric current. Electric current is the flow of an electric charge through a circuit. In an electrical circuit, electrons move freely through a conductor like a copper wire. Electric current can be either alternating or direct. We often abbreviate this as AC-DC. No, we're not talking about some 70s rock band your grandfather listened to. Let's start with direct current. Remember the simple flashlight circuit we looked at in lesson one? Current flows from a battery through the lamp, then returns to the battery. The current moves in just a single direction. Alternating current consistently changes direction. It alternates back and forth. In the US, alternating current reverses directions 60 times each second. We say it's 60 cycle or 60 hertz. So direct current is an electrical current flowing in one direction only, and alternating current is an electrical current that reverses its direction many times a second at regular intervals. Alternating current is cheaper to generate and has some advantages when transmitting electricity over long distances. Direct current, on the other hand, is more energy efficient than AC and can be easily stored. Many electronic circuits operate on DC. We use both AC and DC every day. The electricity coming into our homes is alternating current. Lights, washing machines, refrigerators, and many other household appliances run on AC. Batteries supply direct current to portable devices like laptops, cell phones, and cameras. So if it plugs into the wall, it uses AC, and if there's a battery inside, it runs on DC. Well, it's not quite that simple. For example, some things like TVs and desktop computers convert AC to DC for their electronic circuitry. What about streetcars? Streetcars are powered by direct current, which flows in one direction. As the current passes through an electric motor, it causes the motor's armature to turn. If we change the direction the current flows through the motor, the motor will turn the other way. That small reversal handle on the controller switches the position of the two wires carrying electricity to the motors. Reverser is a good name for it. It reverses the flow of electric current through a part of the motors. That changes the direction the motors turn, 
and that determines the direction the car moves, forward or backward. We're going to learn a lot more about this in our next streetcar school lesson, Magnets and Motors.